Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a brief video, but I have to do it right now to speak about this post that we uh, published earlier today on the Ride Along page where we spoke about the situation with the um, the electric pole that is in the neighbor's yard and the neighbor is preventing the electric company from pulling it over her property because there is some dispute between the neighbors, right? And I wanted to do this video because I think that I came across kind of rough and it probably was a mischaracterization of the individual Miss Marcia. Now, Miss Marcia that I learned is not a bad individual. And also what I learned about this story is that it is something that is ongoing and in court. And there has been a lot of things that happened and transpired that made Miss Marcia very upset about this situation. There are a lot of things that happen. So she's very upset. Miss Marcia is not a bad person. So we don't need to beat up on Miss Marcia. Her decision is based on what was done to her. But at the same time, what we calling on and what I wanted to highlight in this video is while we have this neighborly dispute and you know whatever both sides have their disagreements some more worse than the other while all of this is happening the kids are in the middle right and we could sit here and we could talk and we could we could we could we could i be angry about what the dispute was and what the dispute is but the kids never asked to be in this position the kids at the same time still cannot get electric or power or, or or telecommunication or internet because they don't have power so what what i want to call on is for cooler heads to prevail and some kind of resolution to this problem not to beat up on miss marcia specifically because she's not a bad person her decision from what i've learned it is a lot of crazy things that is happening to this lady and it seems that it's been ongoing but i want us to shift from that dispute and walk and see how cooler heads could prevail so at the same time something could happen to help the kids for me my compassion is in how or what could be done to help the kids at the end of the day that is where i'm most compassionate what I'm most compassionate about. So we don't need to beat up on Miss Marcia. She is genuinely going through a lot and she's been through a lot from what we learned, right? And it's not a situation where I want to make her make it feel like she's a beast or she's a she she's a horrible person because as far as we learned, that is not the case. So if it came across again as that as, as as i was saying that or i was i was misrepresenting that i apologize that was never my intention at the same time we brought light to the story and at least now probably authorities are starting to think about how the best that they could provide some assistance for the kids it's not about these adults it's not about the adults for me it's about the kids it's about the children that are caught in the middle they never ask to be in this position and while they have problems on both sides some more than some um the children are caught in the middle and i i don't like that and that is why i spoke out about this prim primarily i spoke out about it because I'm, I'm compassionate about what the children are going through okay so guys um still comment on this and that let us find out if anyone have some idea how this situation could be resolved for the children's sake if you have any idea how this could be resolved for the children's sake post something at the bottom but i'm open to have a discussion i'm open to provide assistance i'm open to see what we could do from a platform point of view to help out the situation because again i am very compassionate about what the children are going through and what the problems that they're having because of this dispute.